Hello friends, welcome to Vino Mats. Here is where we share travel vlogs and hotel experiences. Hi guys, I'm going to take you to Grand Bazaar today. There are 21 gates to it, but there are five main gates. Today we are going to enter via Bayzeit Gate. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Before entering, on the left is the Karas Salah Street, which is a flea market. We are entering via South West Gate. Kapali Kasi is two words, which means basically means Grand Bazaar, and below is the name of the. Entrance or the gate is given. This bazaar was established in 1400 something, and has gone through a lot of transformation because of the fires, earthquakes, and what not. But this is the present, what it is. So let's start with the jewelry store. On my right and left is all the jewelry stores. In the description box below, I have given everything what you can buy in Grand Bazaar. I'm not going to show you everything. It's not possible, but of course, I'm going to show you some popular things which you can buy in Grand Bazaar. So let's go. The bazaar is very, very charming, and again, there are some few tips which again I'll give you in description box, which you need to know before you go and enjoy your tour or shopping in Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar has got 63 streets and total area of 30,700 square meters. And it's not possible to cover in one day. Hello, hello. Do you have uh, bangle? Bangle? Yeah, for the evil eyes like that. Bangle no bangle. Ah, you would like this? Yes. And like this. How much is this for? This uh, glass, not glass. This four lira. This is four lira. This one classic camera. What is the difference? This different, unique. Artist made this glass, not plastic. Not plastic. Not plastic. This glass. Oh, forty, forty, yeah. Forty. How many pieces you want? This one. Mm -hmm. I give you two, two, two. Okay, that makes sense. Glass evil eyes are good, and you can really negotiate. Finally, we got what we wanted from forty liras to. 25 liras. So again, tip number one is that please look around. Next on the list is the Turkish ceramics, and you have to be very careful. You can see the prices. The bowl shows 10 lira, and the same somebody might sell you for 100 liras. These are handmade as well as machine made. So I can't differ between them. If you can, then you can buy. Otherwise, just pick up whichever you like the most. And it could be a good seven year. Time to afford all the brands I would never be able to afford in real life. How much is my this? This one one thousand four hundred. Oh, that's too much. Outside six hundred. Everybody giving it. It's a different, different quality. What is the difference? Different quality. All not all the stuff not cheap. Same quality. What's the difference? Look, 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 look. Almost original. Okay, I give this two. Yes, for how much? Give me one thousand five hundred. Not possible. Because no, six hundred, six hundred without uh, anything. Can I do or do not? One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. No, one thousand four hundred. Best one thousand four. Best price. Sir, 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 So finally, I got what I wanted from 2,200 liras for 700 liras. So tip number two: you have to really, really negotiate hard and start from 50% or less of whatever they are asking, and be ready to walk away if the deal doesn't happen. Believe me, you will find a good deal. The bag we just bought is in another showroom. How much is this one? This, this one. This. Never go. Like this. Yeah, this one. This one, this one. This one, this one. Next, what you have to buy in Grand Bazaar is Turkish Mosaic lamps. They say fixed price, but believe me, they are all negotiable. 
and they are so pretty that you just cannot stay without buying one of them. Next on our list of shopping was Turkish carpet and now they have machine made carpets also which are very very nice in bamboo silk. They are all handmade. How much is the price starting? Like a machine one with standard price. Oh, okay. This is the most one. How much is this? This one in a lira or dollar euro? Uh, lira. It's 1300 lira. Same design, I have the white color also. Can I see that? White color? They will always try to sell you the higher priced carpets even if you know what you want to buy they will always try to push it so be careful on that what we bought finally was a carpet like this which he told us for 500 liras but we got it for 300 liras So as per our tip, we decided to look around in some more shops. We have also like this one. This is our production. But this is too big for me. I have small size. Okay, how much is the price for this? Machine made, right? It is machine made. If you buy something from me, I will write you certificate. This is machine made bamboo carpets. Okay. It is, uh, you can wash wash machine 30 degrees. Can I see that one? That, that blue one. Is it good size? Yes. Is it the same thing. Touch it and this Thanks. is soft. Very nice, na soft. Oh, soft. This is the far jada thing. Excuse me. This is never move on the floor. There is some material on the back side. See. And see, I have some other patterns. No, but you know. Which currency may I tell you? Dollar. Lira. This is five hundred lira. It's good quality. Hmm. वो इस वजह ना पसंद आया उन्होंने तीन सौ क्या रे नहीं ताई सौ क्या रे ताई सौ क्या क्या देखी ये तो पसंद आ रहे थे नहीं आए थे ओल सेम साइज सेम प्राइस इसके लिए आरे नेट पर क्या ना इफ आई ताई सौ वो तो इतनी मन्नेगा मैं लग रहा नहीं क्या कि देख लो पर मन्नेगा नहीं ताई सौ इफ आई फोल्ड इट इट्स कम लाइक दिस वी Okay, I'll give you this one. Sure. And finally, this is what I bought. Whenever you get tired, you should try one of these local hands, which basically are the sit out of the restaurants, and it's got a history where the traders used to come, and then when they used to get tired, they used to try out all these places or sit here and eat. Next, you can buy every kind of brand you want. The quality of the cloth is okay, but I would not wear those, so I did not try any of those shops. Another tip: if you're not planning to buy anything, do not stop on that shop; otherwise, it becomes very, very difficult to leave. Grand Bazaar is huge. It is not possible to cover it in one go, and it is not possible to come back to a same shop. So, if you want to come back to a shop, make sure that you have. the address of that shop otherwise you will not be able to find it grand bazaar is open from 8:30 am to 7 pm monday to saturday and its shop tea closes at 7 pm time to go to spice bazaar which is also known as miss tar cc and to go from grand bazaar to spice bazaar you have to take mohammad pasa gate which you can ask anybody and they will tell you this is the eastern gate of grand bazaar and which leads to a uh, another shopping street which you cannot miss
Louis Vuitton will be turning in his grave looking at this Louis Vuitton lying on the street and being sold like garbage. You can start with Spice Bazaar and move towards the Grand Bazaar but again here's a tip if you come from Grand Bazaar towards Spice Bazaar you can see behind me it's a down slope so it's easier to move also from Spice Bazaar usually what you buy dry fruits tea everything else is little heavier and to get a taxi is much more easier from the Spice Bazaar than from the Grand Bazaar as you keep moving you will see the crowd becoming more and more it's so crowded unbelievable it doesn't seems like there's covid anymore guru kavesi mehmat coffee is the oldest coffee shop and that's the next on our list you can see the queue it's a long long queue and the tip here is if you come close to the closing hour about 7 there won't be any queue If you are a coffee lover after buying the coffee do not miss to buy the traditional turkish coffee pot in copper you also get a better deal outside on the streets rather than inside the grand bazaar next on list is street food in istanbul and if you want to check out what all you can try you should check out the link on the top right corner where we have told you everything to eat in istanbul And finally we reach Mr. Kasisi which is Spice Bazaar Mr. means Egypt and Kasisi of course is the bazaar Again Spice Bazaar has got of entrances but it's not documented as to what entrances are there if you go and search in Google you won't find much information about this But who cares the fun of Spice Bazaar is exploring the bazaar and enjoying the vibrant colors and different experience of experiencing different spices this place really really gets crowded it's named spice bazaar and it's the center of spice trade but you can see there are different shops which have come up now other than the spice from spice bazaar you have to buy spices if you want some the usually the shopkeepers are very helpful they help you out in finding out the right spice for you and also they vacuum pack it so it's easy to pack when you take them back to your country also you have to try different flavored teas try fruits I saw a different type of teas which I have never even heard about. You can also try some Mitra which is oil based concentrated perfume and it really really lasts for very long. So guys we come to an end of our tour to Spice Bazaar and Grand Bazaar and the final tip for the day is once you come out to the Spice Bazaar you come out towards Imanunu Pier and you can take a Bosphorus tour and you can check our video on Bosphorus tour so enjoy <laughs>